Welcome to the Celebrity All-Star Band, one of today's premium entertainment acts with members that are not just great musicians. They're touring musicians playing with the biggest acts of the country on the biggest stages. They know how to give a live performance that will get everybody begging for more. On guitar and vocals, Mr. Dick Smith. Award-winning guitarist and lead vocalist Richard Smith is one of the founders of the Celebrity All-Star Band. The band was formed by a group of touring and recording artists to provide special event and corporate entertainment during the time the artists are not touring. Typical acts only tour one to three months per year, usually after the release of a potential hit single or album, leaving time where the artists sit and get eager to interact with live audiences. The Celebrity All-Star Band was created by a group of friends to satisfy that desire to perform. In return, they give a great value to that event. Richard gives the band great experience. He has toured and worked with a large number of great acts like Earth, Wind & Fire, Kenny Loggins and Air Supply, to name just a few. He has also recorded with a wide variety of artists that include Aretha Franklin, Diana Ross, Whitney Houston and New Kids on the Block. Alfreda Gerald. Our next celebrity is Alfreda Gerald. She brings a powerful voice to the band. Her vocal range can bring an audience to their feet. She is currently the featured vocalist for Yanni and has performed as background vocalist for many recording acts, including Elton John. You may also have heard her voice on commercials for Coca-Cola, McDonald's and General Motors. When superstar Sam Sims isn't on tour with Janet Jackson, he's the bass player for the Celebrity All-Stars. Sam has also toured with Sheena Easton, Katie Lang and Paula Abdul, and recorded with a number of artists and producers including Quincy Jones, George Duke and Stanley Clark. Michael Drinnan is an extremely gifted vocalist and guitarist, having played live with a number of great celebrities including the legendary Whitney Houston, Amy Grant, Pebbles, Joe South and Bobby Brown, to name just a few. Deborah is a great vocalist and she's one of the most sought-after percussionists in the world. She can be heard on recordings from Al Jiro, B.B. King, Willie Nelson, Richard Marks and numerous others. When Deborah is not playing with a celebrity all-star band, she's touring with Bonnie Raitt. She has also toured with Jackson Brown, Don Henley from the Eagles and Wayne Chung. Nobody can play the sax like Tony Morris. A long-time industry veteran, he's toured or recorded with greats like Prince, Gloria Estefan, Diana Ross, Chaka Khan and Donna Summers. The Celebrity All-Star Band is the perfect act for corporate and fundraising events and audiences that include executives, top performers, spouses and the client's customers. With a commitment to a performance that is clean, wholesome and appealing to all ages, our show will have everyone reminiscing and tapping their feet. We promise to have a good time doing what we love to do. Play great music with good friends and entertain. Ladies and gentlemen, the Celebrity All-Star Band. 
beautiful thing about this idea is that touring musicians only work one to three months out of the year. Now during the rest of the year it's downtime. So what we've done is we've collectively put together a band of touring musicians that want to fulfill the need of performing in front of people during their downtime. And also it gives our end user, the client, the person doing the special event, a great value. It's a win-win scenario for everybody. Now the obvious question that should come up is, if I book the Celebrity All-Star Band, what happens if one of the members of the band is on tour during my event? Well, first of all, we know way ahead of time. And second of all, we have treated this band like a sports team. We are literally one to three positions deep at all spots in the band. So, for example, if for some reason the drummer can't make it because he's out on tour. We have another drummer who's of equal caliber that can stand in. Now I would like to invite you to watch some footage from a television show called American Casino that was aired on the Discovery Channel not too long ago that features members of the Celebrity All-Star Band plus special guest Brian Howe, the former lead singer of Bad Company. On this episode of American Casino... Cream Valley has more riding on the success of this party than any other event that we've ever held. Though, of course, I'm worried. part of our revenue here at Green Valley Ranch. On any given night, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars change hands. But that's only one part of running a successful casino. Another area that we're looking to expand into is the convention and trade business and the corporate parties that they throw every week in Vegas. The day after tomorrow, Green Valley Ranch is hosting a big party called Hendon Rocks. So I'm going to head up to the presidential suite right now and meet with the owner of the company, Charlie Hendon. Mr. Hendon. What's up? How are you? What is going on? Charlie is a major real estate developer. He and his clients are exactly the type of wealthy big time spenders that we want to attract to Green Valley. Hendon Rock's parties are legendary in Las Vegas, but Charlie's always had them on the strip. So convincing him to come out to Green Valley Ranch, which is eight miles off the Strip, was a major coup. I felt that this would be a great venue for him to uh, throw his party. So I pitched it to him and we got the deal done. But Charlie was a little nervous about it. Right there. The, uh, I have a few concerns about having it here at Green Valley because it is off the Strip. And that means that people are going to have to make a little extra effort to get here. The first couple cabanas, I would like to set up for, like, us. It's so important to pull this off. Number one, we'll get Charlie's return business. At the same time, we'll be exposing our property to a lot of high-end customers. And we'd once and for all prove that we can compete with the casinos on the Strip. So there's tons of money riding on the outcome of this party. And if anything goes wrong, we're going to be screwed. So the other thing, Manny, is should we wait till Charlie gets here to talk about parameters on how many girls that he wants me to invite? I don't, I don't think there'll be a limit, to be honest with you. I think that he definitely wants to place with as, as much eye candy as he can. This Hendon Rocks party's got to be the best ever. 
And since the demographics of the party is heavily slanted towards the older males, we need something to balance out the equation. Some more girls already calling back, so. Oh, great. Yeah, so we're we'll awesome. in good shape. I'll okay. do my part. Thank you, guys. Well, today's a big day. Okay. GVR is hosting his biggest party ever for a special client of mine, Charlie Hendon. So I'm here at work a little early today. Check out how things are going. So how are we looking? Are we looking great? Huh? Are we? Well, the food part of it's food probably. part's great. Yeah. Food part's fine. And if we need more, I got more. All right, good. Back over there. For an event like this with so much at stake, I can tell you that we really have to work as a team. Banquets, security, beverage, we all come together. I can also tell you that the stress level is increasing by the minute. Number one. Hi, Ed. get people out here, we had 38 buses to pick the people up from the strip. On board, we had 43 girls with skimpy outfits offering the guests free shots. So Charlie decided to invite all the shooter girls to the party. They're going to kind of be a welcoming committee. There's also quite a few dancers strategically placed at the entrance, and that should get the party off to a good start. My worry, it may have been for nothing. A ton of people have showed up, and Hendon Rocks is kicking ass. Charlie started circus performance for the party, and several of them are walking around in their costumes. So there's acrobats, there's jugglers, and actually one of the girls can even put her legs behind the back of her head, and she can shoot a bow and arrow with her feet. We've got sword swallowers. We have uh, synchronized swimmers in the pool. And there's all kinds of animal trainers walking around with exotic snakes. And of course, there's Charlie's favorite band that he blew in especially for the party. The landscaping was far better than I imagined. It was really sensory overload. What I've heard is everybody said, great party, uh, the best venue you've ever had, you know, even better than last year. But the feedback so far has been nothing but absolutely positive. This worked great. I mean, I for all the worries we had about it, it came out perfect. Great. Like, beautiful. Looks like Hotel California, doesn't it? The best sure. party, great party of the year, any venue, yes. any conference, any convention. Great. We were concerned about it for a lot of reasons, but it, people came out for it, and the energy was great. It turned out to be a really good time. Let's have a Thank glass of champagne, man. Absolutely. We need to have a toast. I agree. All right, I, I just agree. ordered a couple of bottles. All right, up perfect. Here. Hendon Rocks was a huge, huge success. All the staff really came together and pulled this thing off. As far as coming back again here for next year, based on the way this has gone tonight, I would say that we would have it again at Green Valley.
So far, huh? But there's something we've all forgotten to do today. I promise you, we've all forgotten to do this. So if you're with someone tonight, that you really... Will somebody please shoot that fucking crow? someone tonight that you really do care about and you haven't told them today that you need them and you love them take your eyes off me mister <laughs> pervert how did that feel boys to me, baby.
Thank you very much. God bless you. Good night. Cheers. This is a big step for Green Valley Ranch. When word gets out, this is going to open the door for a lot of similar events. And not to mention all the high-end guests that we exposed our property to tonight. Right about now, our future is looking a whole lot brighter. Up next, an American chopper. See if the Tuttles finish their military-inspired tribute to prisoners of war and men missing in action in time for its unveiling. Check out some of their other military-inspired bikes only on discovery.com.